Hello, uh, we're going to make part eight, the linkage peg, uh, next. And this thing is uh, very similar to that uh, hitch peg. So same kind of deal. We're going to make half of the uh, profile here and then revolve it around a central axis. All right. So I'm going to try to blow this up just a little bit so we can see those numbers. And here we go. We're going to put a sketch onto the front face. Shwabam. Yep and didn't start my sketch but now we got a sketch okay great so a little bit laggy we're going to start on the same way we did last time by making a nice little rectangle and we're going to make the width of the rectangle 0.125 divided by 2 not 0 0.25 0 0.125 divided by 2 and then the height is that 0.325 over there and you guys probably already have completed this because you're so quick. And we're going to activate the arc again. We'll do center point arc again. We'll come up and draw that nice arc and dimension it. Uh, the dimension is a standard radius of 0.1562. So let's see if that works. 0.1562. Enter. Bam. And we'll use the coincident constraint to lock those two endpoints together again. And does this look good? Don't know. It doesn't really look the same. Why is that? Hmm. So maybe we can mess with this a little bit. Let's try clicking this endpoint and this endpoint. And we want that distance to be 0.25. What's going to happen there? It moved us up a little bit, so that might be good. I'm going to go ahead and make the line and revolve it and see if we're in the zone or if we got to redo this whole video. That would be fun, too. All right, let's uh, revolve this, this, and this. Our axis is this. And how does that look? It looks a little chunky. I mean, it doesn't really look like that, but... Uh, Let's keep it, and uh, we'll let that be that. Okay.